guys, what's up? It's Wes Adams here with the Autodesk Gameware team at GDC 2012. We're talking to Jamie Gotch, CEO and co-founder of Subatomic Studios. If you haven't played Field Runners, check it out. Uh, Jamie, you were just presenting in the Autodesk booth. Uh, you were talking about your workflows to go from 3ds Max into your game. How did you guys start with 3ds Max? Well, 3D Studio Max is one of the tools that um, we've been using for a very long time. And before we started doing mobile, we were in the console and PC space, and it was um, one of the tools that we found to be most beneficial um, and the, the, the one that provided the best results. So we found that we could bring that same experience to the mobile games, and we found that it was a great solution for our mobile titles. Great, and you know, at some point you were talking about uh, sprite construction, how the tool led to more efficiency. Could you tell us a little bit about what kind of efficiencies you have using 3ds Max? Yeah, 3D Studio Max, um, I mean, because it's such a powerful tool for rendering as well as asset creation and uh, animations and everything like that, um, 3D Studio is really good at creating assets that can be very well optimized, especially for mobile and especially uh, for the kind of devices that we target. Jamie, can you tell us a little bit about uh, you know, how you go about getting the assets back into the game after when it's a 2D game? So after we go through the whole export process and we bring it into our sprite tool, um, that's where we assign all the animations and, and any kind of take point relevant you know, the metadata that we need for the game. We then, after that phase, we take it to a third phase, uh, which is our doll construction phase, where we assign particles and we sound, uh, assign sound effects based on particular gameplay events or particular frames of uh, animation. Awesome. And uh, where can our viewers check out your game, Field Runners? Um, well, it's all over the place. I mean, you can check it on iPhone, iPad, uh, the Chrome Web Store, Roku, BlackBerry, Windows Phone, uh, mobile devices, and can't even keep track of them all. There's just so many. Where isn't the game? So if you haven't played the game, you do not have an excuse. Jamie, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.